continue to show you a little what we learned in class. So we're going to get right into the program because I don't want to spend too much time because we all have to see today. So the first thing on our list is the new sky. So we'll be jumping right into that. Let's talk about that. Good morning, Manzai. Good morning. Welcome to the Manzai Children News Network. I'm Emmanuel. General London with me is. Now the headlines. Today is Manzai Children's Day celebration. The Bishop has given his blessings for today's program. The Children's Department has started a YouTube channel. The presenting privilege of Manzai Ministry is watching live from Nigeria. Children of Mount Zion Ministry excels in sports competitions. The Mount Zion 2019 barbecue was a huge success. Now into the detail. After weeks of intense preparation that was rounded up yesterday was eight hour marathon rehearsal that filled that was filled with work and fun. The children of the Mount Zion Ministry has a lot of program to bless you with today. So stay tuned. The presenting privilege of our Zion Ministry, Bishop Kingsley Osiety, has given the go ahead for today's program. My name is Osan Senegal and I am 6 years old. I'm 
Lord Jesus. He is the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. The one who was, who is, and who is to come. He opened the door that no man can shut. And shut a door that no man can open. He is the living God and Jesus is my friend. Thank you. 
Lieutenant Amal Bashar, je ne m'en que rien de rien. Il m'a fait reposer dans le bord de pâturage. Il m'a dirigé près de l'eau possible. Il restaure mon âme. Il m'a conduit dans le sentier de la justice à cause de son âme. Quand je marche dans la vallée de l'homme de la mort, je le crée dans le coma, car tu es avec moi. Travailler est un bateau de résurrection. Tu es juste de l'homme en état en bas de mon adversaire. Tu es en tout ma terre et ma coupe de beauté. Oui, le bonheur et la grâce m'a confirmé dans tout le jour de la vie. Et j'habiterai dans la maison de la terre jusqu'à la fin de mes jours.
in the absence of a, of a man in is unclear. You may have also heard the saying is building to plan is like build, planning to build. This message of God also this message of God planned as outlined in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 came at the time when the judgment of bondage was against Judah. Jeremiah had placed a yoke around his neck to symbolize God's judgment of 70 years of captivity to Babylon in chapter 27. The fact is, the message was complete, and, but Jeremiah was sovereign. True in this message, a God of condemnation in the short term, but very hopeful for the future. In chapter 29, we see the Lord's encouragement of the people not, not be overcome by the but by the serenity of the judgment, but rather to take heart in his long-term promise. This is the this is what the Lord says in Jeremiah 29, verse 10 to 14. When seven when seventy years are complete for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my gracious promise to bring you back to the place where I know. The plan I have for you is next the Lord and because the Lord plan plan to prosper you and not to harm you and to give you hope and a future to live the Lord and will bring you back to captivity I will gather you all the nations and place where I have banished you and there's the Lord and will bring you back back to the place from which I carry you to you into exile. I don't know what you are faced with today. It could be a situation where you have lost hope. It could be a situation where you are just about to give up. But I have great news for you. The Lord's plan, the Lord has a plan for you. He's working on his plan, just like how he did for Jeremiah and the people. Don't try to move on your own. Don't try to, don't try to make your own plan. Don't try to make your own plan. Go with the Lord. Go with God. If doing in your life today, stay with the plan of God, only God knows the end. Advice, stay with God, stay with God's plans, the end will always be great. He has a plan to prosper you, not to harm you, your plans to give you hope and a future. In one year Bible reading plan, morning back 26 in the evening, about 17 to 19. Once again, my name is Gabriel Candyman, and God bless the word of the Lord. Good morning, church. Today, our school age choir will move forward and go make a difference. Listen and be blessed.
disciples by the preschool class. Let's talk to them as they come.
I am Tatianus. I am John. I am Simon. I am Matthias. Books, even though their parents are not home. 
But if it's Jungle, he'll be playing Fortnite. And if it's Vivian, she'll be on all social media. Let me see what they're doing right now. Good morning. Hi. You guys can't read? Can you believe your mates are reading your books? So today, be like your mates. You can block my phone. No. You can block my shoulder. Like, what's wrong with you? You can block my phone now, oh, man. You can block my phone. No. Mom. Let me give me back my controller. I was at the store. Mom. What happened? Why is that yelling? Good morning. He just slapped me. He took my controller away. Why did you slap my kids? Because your man are reading their books. He said he's going to discipline us. Why did you discipline my, discipline my kids? This is not this is not Nigeria. This is Canada. They were they were all ready to change. Leave my house. Leave my house. Leave my house. I'm calling 911. Oh my gosh, I lost my game. I'm calling 911. If you don't leave my house right now. Don't worry. I'm with you. Good morning. Hi, baby. Hey, the extra earrings you have on. Your dad let you to do this? Who cares about my dad? My mom let me do this. Well, my dad would never let me do this. Will you come at this? Hi, Hi, Jungle. Wait, you got a haircut? Um, yeah. This is not about my house. Well, that's your house. Our house is way better. Especially my... Our parents are way better. Well, my mom is... Mom's at the head of the house. Are you crazy? Brothers are always in charge. How do you want to kick your dad out of the house? God forbid. We love our dad. Let's see these two. Oh my gosh, I made it to Harvard University. Oh my gosh, what school? Harvard. What program? Love. Let me help you pay for it. Go for it. It's a fully funded scholarship. Thank you, Teresa.
of 19 year old Jungle J Dubs charged with murder in the first degree. He is found guilty. Wait, what? What did I do? No, no, no. Are you kidding? Don't come close to me. Why? Because you raised us without a father. It's motherly love. What kind of love is that? That's not the right kind of love.
He once said, I have missed more than 90,000 shots in my career. I have lost more than 200 games, 26 times. I have been trusted to take my game when he shot and miss. I have failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. I wrote Eisen, the word of Eisen is associated with intelligent and synonymous with genius. Yet it is a famous fact that pioneers of theories of general relatively ever Eisen himself. I meet it to the Zurich Polytechnic School. His early setback did not stop him from winning the Nobel Prize in physics. In 1921, after all the belief that success is failure and progress, Thomas Edison was an American inventor who had been described as Americans' greatest inventor. When he invented the electric light bulb, he tried 999 times but failed, but never gave up. He then tried one more time, but he successful. Today, he is remembered as America's greatest inventor. Lastly, Henry Ford said, failure is simply the opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligently. Don't give up, never give up, stay focused, you will surely get there. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Because of him, we now 
are now under white people's watch. We now are allowed to drink from other fountains. We now are allowed to go to other restaurants. But then as a result of this, he died, sadly. The result? In January 20th, every American comes together to celebrate the man who had a determined mindset to set the black people free. Amen? Thomas Edison is another person. He tried 999 times but failed. People were making fun of him. He, people were saying, don't do this, don't do that, you're gonna fail. But he kept on trying. And because of that, we have light all over the world. Because of his mindset to stick with his projects no matter what. But there's one person that all kids must know is our parents. Our parents are really determined because if they were not determined, we would not be disciplined and very good kids today. They would put us for adoption. Many of, many of the parents would put us for abortion. But our parents stick by our side because they were determined to give us a good life. Amen? But I'm not, only, I'm not only here to talk about outside the world. I'm here to talk about people in the Bible. People like Job, who the devil took everything away from him. His wife was even trying to tell him to leave God, but he stuck by God's side because he was determined to stay with God. Without determination, you can't do anything. Daniel is another person of determination. They made a rule saying that if you pray to God, you will be served to the lions. But Daniel still prayed, and he was served to the lions, but he was not eaten. Because he was determined to stay with God no matter what. Many of us, if they will tell us to do something, if we have a project, and they tell us to leave it, you will go with them and you will leave the project. We have to stay with what we believe will become good. Amen? Amen. There's a quote that says, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. This is trying to say that you could have been the littlest bits to get in a million dollars. The littlest bits to be a president, having so much fame in the world. The littlest bits to having so much power in life, but you gave up. People like Thomas Edison, 999 times, many of us will give up on the fight, fifth time, first time. We're not even try, because we'll listen to those people. So we have to learn how to stay with God. So I'll be giving you tips on how to stay with God. Number one, don't choose love over deliberate practice. We all see TV shows where kids lost their lucky bracelet and they have to go somewhere and they fail. Even if you lost your lucky bracelet, you can still practice. If you want to be good at soccer, don't stay on the couch watching TV. Go outside and play soccer. If you want to be good at math, don't stay outside watching the TV. Practice math equations. About outside, I'm trying to say Bible. If you want to be good at the Bible, read the Bible. If you want to be good at Bible questions, practice Bible questions. Yes, sir. Focus on your goal. If you have a test and and you have friends saying, "Oh, come on, let's go play outside," tell them no because you have an important test tomorrow. There's a difference between fake friends and best friends. Best friends are people who know you have a test and will not and will leave you alone. Fake friends are people who will make you mess up on the test. So please, if you have a project in 10 days, use the first three days to work on the project. Then use the next three days after that to edit the project. Look for mistakes, find bad grammar, and then use one more day to practice the project, say the words, and then three more days left, you can play. So this is our combination of good friends and bad friends. Gotcha. 
Another one is trusting God. Many of us, lots of famous celebrities, are people who believe in God. People who were determined with God. Many of us will say, oh, God's not going to do this. God's not going to do that. They will never know. There's a, another quote that says, fear has two meanings. Forget everything and run, or face everything and rise. The choice is yours. That's why we have to trust in the Lord of everything. When bad stuff happens, even when good stuff happens. Another one is stay on the good side. Never stay on the bad side. You can be determined with the good, you can be determined with the bad. And friends are also included in this. Make sure you know who's surrounding you because you never know if they're bad or good. Good friends will make you the best person you can be. Bad friends will make you the worst person you can be. Good friends will make you the highest level and make the most nicest person. Good people will make you the most disrespectful and the baddest person. That's why we have to stay on the good side. My last is have faith in God. You cannot be determined and not have faith. They just don't go together. You have to have faith and stay with your project. You have to believe in what you want to achieve. If you want to be having success, money, fame, or power, you have to have faith, believe, stay on the good side, trust in God, and last, practice and focus. Because you always have to stay on the good side. Money can buy power, success, and fame, but determination can buy a lifetime. Thank you.